Hey, everybody. Welcome to AJS News. This is the first video we've got for you today. But first, a word from our sponsors. Hi, I'm Alex with The Angry Joe Show, and I suffer from seasonal RBF, received bad gift face. This year, hundreds of millions of adults all over the world will also suffer from RBF. Hey, Merry Christmas, buddy. Merry Christmas. I got you something. Yes, Legos, my favorite. I got you something too. Oh, really? Yeah. Check that out, huh? Oh. It's us. It's a macaroni picture. Yeah, I mean the it's grass, one. the sun, mm -hmm. brands forever. It's you spelled it right this time too. I was worried about that. Wow. Yeah, it looks really, really good. Um, why don't you go put it on the fridge with all the other ones? Uh, and then while you're in there, you want to grab me a beer? Yeah. Together we can stop seasonal RBF by giving gifts that people actually want, like these amazing extra wallets. Go to extra.com slash angry Joe show. Everything is 30% off up to 40% off and people will love them. Big thanks to Exter uh, for creating our custom wallets. This time we have them in black with the black Angry Joe logo and the exclusive uh, can opener that you can't get anywhere else. And, of course, uh, you know, our, our partnership on the wallet. It's still $55 with that off, yeah. Black Friday deal. Uh, last chance to get it. We're selling them really fast. Thank you all so much for supporting the show. It's been amazing. Grab a wallet for you, uh, your friends, family or yourself if you haven't got one they are freaking amazing i've been using them for the, like the past two years now great, great and gifts i will not go back so amazing all right so uh let's get to the gaming news all right phil spencer um said that he wants the industry to work on legal emulation of you know the classic games um kind of a interesting take for you know one of the big companies to do because typically they've been so against uh -oh, you know shit. emulation of everything yeah because we've been trying to do um, fatal frame i know i haven't played that one you love that one yeah right? fatal frame is really good and that's one that yeah. you can't really play and in guess trouble. guess what they added uh 70 more titles to the xbox backward compatibility and then that's it mm -hmm. they're gonna cut it off uh that's all you got but, Joe, a dream just came true. You're Gladius? Gladius is on the fucking <laughs> list. So now I need to find a copy of Gladius. <gasps> One fucking left. Don't you fucking do it. Don't put this episode up, Joe, <laughs> until I fucking hold on. I'm going to purchase now. it right now because we're going to fucking get Gladius and we're going to play it. It's a LucasArts game that nobody's ever fucking heard about. And we had a ton of fun. Four-player cooperative uh, XCOM like with gladiators mm -hmm. very unique so we had an interview with Axios where he was discussing the industry's problems talking about you know the old catalogs and how it's miserable to get you know for, for players to get access to them legally speaking now of course emulators exist but he wants to make sure they can be done legally, legally. also make sure they get a little bit of money money towards it so got it you got it, got it. all right good <laughs> it was the last one too uh, and so this is a good thing. Again, Xbox has been pretty consumer friendly um, mm -hmm. in the last couple of years. The Game Pass seems to be a pretty good deal, and I imagine that they can figure out a way to get a lot the, all of their back catalog to the people. Now the issue is they've got to bring Sony aboard, and then even Nintendo. And Nintendo still wants sixty dollars for all of their old. Oh, they'll no. never get Nintendo no. to do anything like that. So forget about it. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, I got terrible news, my uh, guys. Uh, Saints Row oh, no. is delayed. Oh, uh, no. To August 2022. I didn't even know it was coming oh, out. Oh, no. I didn't even know when it was coming out <laughs> yeah. in the first place. <laughs> and if, wait, you what? <laughs> if you don't know, there's a new Saints Row game, uh, and the cast of characters are a bunch of people that the original Saints Row uh, guys would make fun of because yeah. it is terrible. And but they have recently been putting out more gameplay trailers that actually look cool. Mm -hmm. Like, you're, you're, you know, you're building an empire, and I can respect that. And so this is actually a story of one that had a terrible fucking initial trailer, 
but it's slowly winning me back. We'll have to see. We have to continue to, to keep an eye on it. Had no idea when it was coming out anyway. Me neither. <laughs> or I, I forgot, I guess. Uh, but okay, so late 2020 probably. Yeah. Or so. 2021. Or t- 2022. 2022. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the original, re- the original release date was February 2022. It's pushed oh. all the way to August now. So, uh, you know, a couple Jeez, months I didn't away. realize it was supposed to be that. Quick. Hopefully they're putting back in. They'll use that period of time to put back in the bad words and the crude references that they were talking yeah. about removing because they want it to be, you know, PC and mm. no, so kind of that's, defeats that's, the point. Yeah, that's not Saints Row. I know. That's not no. what I remember. Yeah, no. that's not hey, my Hey, mother Saints. trucker. Yeah. <laughs> and, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. And just uh, so y'all know, I mean, we already did a trailer reaction for it. Uh, you know, the multiverse is, is official, Joe. We will be getting our Superman and you're, you will be getting your Ultra Shaggy. Instinct Shaggy, and we'll be having a throwdown fight. Mm. Alex has got to pick his main. Uh, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Harley Quinn, Shaggy, Bugs Bunny, Tom and Jerry, Arya Stark, Jake the Dog, Finn, Steven, Garnet, Rain Dog. Which is your main of those? No. Okay. Bugs Bunny. Wait for uh, Johnny Bravo. Uh, yeah. And that will be coming in 2022. So happy to see that. Uh, Streamlabs this week was accused of plagiarism. Uh, allegations were made by Lightstream, including identical website, oh, user yeah. reviews. That it got was, messy. This is a kind of a In weird, um, yeah, a weird thing. So Streamlabs Studio um, is a new, it's a new service, right? And mm-hmm. so Lightstream tweeted a comparison of Streamlabs Studio and its website, which appeared very similar. You know, it's just like you kind of copy your homework, yeah, but change it a little bit. Yeah. It was, it was one of them jobs. Um, and so they, they promise they're going to kind of do right by it and kind of fix all these other things. But OBS studio said via Twitter that it was advised about Streamlabs service name SL OBS, um, which is Streamlabs open broadcaster software, dis- despite expressing that it didn't want the name to be used. Uh, Streamlabs proceeded to use it and file a trademark, uh, kind of messy. Lots of people on Twitter kind of chiming in and getting in on it. Mm-hmm. Um, but they'll figure it out. They're both, you know, open source. So. We shall see. Uh, I got more bad news. Uh, Star Citizen has now raised four hundred million dollars. Um, How? Um, the ge- uh, four hundred million. The game's not even out. <laughs> no, uh, you can have a free <laughs> five period. Never- why would you even bring the game out if you're making that much money? That's why it's not out yet. <laughs> exactly. It's like, wait, we've made how much money and we haven't even released anything? Mm-hmm. Well, okay, sorry. The game is out. No, there's an alpha. There, there's ignorant. alphas, yes. You're y'all playing for it, but. Genius! 400 million! Genius! Well, 402. 402 million! <laughs> but it's probably at a 403 right now because that number keeps going up. Well, right. yeah, because the... keep selling ships and property and. <sighs> well, oh, man. there's a free fly period, so you can play it right now uh, until December first, oh, and then uh, I don't know what's going to happen after that. <sighs> when is the game coming up? Um, I don't know. Why? Yeah. No, you can't <laughs> give them a deadline. <laughs> right yeah, at you this can't. point, there's like, no. It's coming. It's there's coming. There's no release date. It's probably not 2022. It's probably not 2023. The game will be out in 2024. So. Get ready, guys. We're just talking shit I about Star don't Citizen think it's for the next two fucking years. I got some news about Squadron 42, though. Oh, yes. Um, the news is uh, if you're wondering whether the total will mean we hear more about the release of Star Citizen's Squadron 42, uh, the CEO said probably not. What? No, probably not. The, the fucking videos make it look fucking finished. You got the Mark Hamill in it. You got the guy from Battlestar Galactica, the XO. You got so many fucking great actors, and I've seen the shit. How fucking far. Did they literally just make the goddamn trailer? Is that is that what the because that's what would well, have that had shit to have happened? But to make that trailer, but, all right? Is, you need to give them more money, well, Joe. No, give you them give more them more money. money. No, I'm the only one here that gave them money. Yes, yeah. I was on the original motherfucking Kickstarter. Sucker, with, sucker. <laughs> I had no fucking idea, Joe. In fact, that's like one of my Kickstarters that hasn't delivered yet. I never thought that maybe Star Citizen would be one. At what? A serious question though. Like, at what point are you like, all right, I'm I'm done with this game? Uh, like, some people on Twitch some don't, of you guys. don't have an ending point. They are like, we will wait as long as it takes because I'm already that. invested. I put hundreds of thousands. Oh my god! Well, tens of thousands of dollars. I know people have put tens of thousands of dollars. They're already invested. They're just gonna wait until it's out. Period. Yeah. Um, 
But the rest of us, ones that you know may have only put in a hundred dollars, like me, mm-hmm. on the Kickstarter, and then y'all who put in zero dollars, or y'all are already gone. Y'all are like, wow. yeah, I don't give a I'm, shit. No, I'm done. Let me know when it's when it's out. Mm-hmm. And even then, you're well, gonna you look at it your, with a skeptical eye. You still have your metal card. No, I think I lost, lost it at it? this point. I mean, how many fucking years has it been, Joe? You had it when last time. When the fuck time? did I back that game? Like two thousand fucking. It's been one. <laughs> Because we celebrated not too long ago their anniversary, right? Yeah, it was a long, I don't remember what. It was a long, yeah. Uh, they actually referenced Cyberpunk saying, well, it'll be done when it's done. We don't want to put it out too early. It's like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> 2012, Joe. Okay. All right. Nine years ago. Nine, 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 nine. Oh, oh no. shit. <laughs> I spilled way to something. Go. All right, we'll get something for it later. Yeah, Nick look, can just sit on the Luckily, we no, have a towel. Don't you... Oh, nice. Is that for me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I make spill. Slamming on the table. Look what, what Star <laughs> Citizen is doing what to G-Fuel us. What G-Fuel everywhere. God damn it. All Where right. Uh, I'll let you know when they it's hit 500 nine, million. Nine, or nine. I'll let you know when we hit 10 years, whichever comes first. I think it's going to be like in a couple months, 500. You think they're going to hit 500 before we hit the 10-year anniversary? Yes. Pre-production yes. actually began in 2010, just to let y'all know, because they did a oh. little bit of work before they did the Kickstarter. <laughs> yeah, I so do. It's they were actually... just coming. The, the work they were doing was coming up the name uh, for the name for that. It's like, well, it's gonna be called. Uh... <laughs> it's actually been 11 years, man. Uh, Damn. About to be 12 years, John. <laughs> All right, enough with this. Man, you can have a motherfucking 12 year old (laughs) kid. Uh, And you're still waiting for the stars. Your your joystick is collecting dust like mine because I ran out. I bought the best joystick out there. It was like fucking $300, $400. And we're getting no game. Like, actually, I could use it for, uh, you know, Elite Dangerous. And and luckily, people have used Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous 2. This Elite one, Dangerous 3 will come out before. This one or a new Grand Theft Auto? Oh, shit, Joe. That's hardcore. Or right. right. Squadron or the or Star Citizen? To, like, total. 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 Grand Theft Auto. Uh, Grand Theft, Grand Theft Auto. Auto. Grand Theft Auto. Okay. What is it? Right. Six? Yeah. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah. So Grand Theft Auto 5 came out in 2013. Um, They're due for a new one. <laughs> and and so, waiting. well, when did Grand Theft Auto 4 come out? Uh, before five, that would have been two thousand eight. So, well, just double check two thousand eight, and then Grand Theft Auto five. How many years between games? I think that was thirteen. Uh, right? Eight, yeah, two thousand thirteen. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, five years. If it did some pre-production, and Star Citizen's now edging on twelve, ten, eleven, twelve. So, got the auto. So, <laughs> I think what the problem is, like, they are constantly they're having to replace stuff already Grand that they started. Grand Theft Auto 6. I'm like, going to say Grand Theft yeah, Auto 6. Yeah. That makes sense. After deliberation. Yeah. Uh, we are already seeing remakes of games that came out when Star Citizen was announced. Games came out, and then the remakes for those original games are coming out. It's been so goddamn long. Uh, uh, is that well, true? More. D- oh, it's got Well, her. we're going to get more dislikes on this one, so whatever. Oh. And it happens. Are you talking about from the community? No. Oh, even, yeah. No, I think they even... always show up. They always show up like, you guys know nothing. This game's perfect. Why are you perfect. even talking about this if you guys don't? Do your research. That, man, that's a fucking weirdo. Because they paid <laughs> thousands, That's how they're going to respond. They paid thousands of dollars, and we're making fun of them for paying thousands of dollars and something that still doesn't come out. I just you. want better for you guys. That's I all want I want. All right. So wait a minute. You were right, Alex. The Last of Us came out in 2013, and then we had The Last of Us remastered, remastered. come out. <laughs> <laughs> It's not funny, Joe. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Stop funny. <laughs> Stop laughing. Yeah. I'm laughing tears of sadness, Joey, because I'm the one that put in money, not I know. you. Oh, well, you spent like, what, you, a, a four or five hundred bucks? Well, you got the what? joystick, too. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Four or five hundred bucks. No, that's I, not I, as I bad, use the though. joystick for other bad, space though. games. With the, yeah. But still, that's yeah. nothing compared to some people. Right. So, yeah. Fuck. Next story, please. All right. Uh, this God one's kind it. of funny in the most sad sort of way. And I, I, I know how serious and sad this is, okay. but it makes me laugh because some people are so fucking cynical. dumb. Um, you know how Blizzard's been in trouble for a little while oh, with yes. little little things, right? So we're going to get into the meat of it. We're going to talk about this is not Bobby. We're okay. not talking about Bobby. Oh, okay. no, Bobby. This yet. is not Bobby yet. 
Okay. So they've been talking about not paying women the same amount, and it's like, all right. So they brought right, in and new treating them like shit. shit. And so they brought in new female leadership to show that they're committed to it, and they offered the the new female leadership less money than their male counterparts. <laughs> Like, you know how dumb you have to fucking be? <laughs> so, uh. We're all about equality. We're all nah, about equality. You're good. Look, <laughs> look yeah. we hired a female. Uh, yeah, and how much did you pay her? Half will we pay the male. Yeah. She doesn't have because balls. Because she's a female, man. Yeah. <laughs> you got no balls. Yeah, she weighs what less. Are you, what the fuck on? What do you think? <laughs> she doesn't oh need God. that much money, I guess. Uh, so, the, wow. the story is Blizzard co lead Jen wow. O'Neill. So, she's co running the company with Mikey Barra, right? And they're paying Mike more money. And the only way that she got to get them to finally give her the money, like the equal pay, is she had to hand them her resignation. And they're like, oh, shit, Um, we can't have her quit because it'll look even worse. It's like, how fucking dumb do you have to be to bring on? And she's like, no, no, we're supporting women. I wonder how she found out that she wasn't getting paid. Hey, Mike, how much you getting paid? Okay. (laughs) A lot. Love with you. We'll see about that. I've got these balls. That is so fucking dumb. That's hilarious. Uh, How? Blizzard, Blizzard sucks. Uh, Activision Blizzard sucks, I should say. And um, well, yeah, it, a lot of the shit that they do is just, um, what do you call it? Surface level. And you look deeper and then you have problems. Oh, yeah. yeah. Deeper. Deeper. Deep deeper. Deeper. All right, so now to the meat of the this whole episode. There's nothing but Bobby Kotick stories all week, mm-hmm. constantly evolving story, but it all started, we'll start from the beginning. There was a Wall Street Journal expose on Bobby Kotick outlining pretty much the history that he actually, he said he didn't know what was going on. He's like, look, I'm the CEO of this really big company of all these people. He went deeper. Yeah, he's like. He knew about the deepness. Yeah. Uh, the article also brings up several instances of Bobby himself personally being a little bit of a piece of shit to other people, Shocker. allegedly <laughs> allegedly Shocker. threatening I, I them. Um, but this whole Can't expose kind of just shows it's like, look, Bobby was approving things. Bobby knew of things. He Bobby. he knew all this stuff was going on. Mm-hmm. And so they're all of the him telling the investors, no, I didn't know anything about it. I'm definitely not keeping things from you to make me look good. And everyone's like, no, this is all the stuff. So, uh, you know. Good. Right? Unfortunately, I had to, you know, we, we grabbed the the article before Wall Street Journal, Journal paywalled it up, but we, we got the whole thing, and it, it, it outlines everything pretty well. Um, it goes over the fact that in 2020, he got a $154 million uh, payment, and it, that's going to lead into some of the other things that happened, because the investor's like, look, we're giving you insane money. Like, these compensation packages are huge, and the company hasn't been doing as well. There's all of this negative public sentiment for all of it, so much so that Xbox and PlayStation, the heads of both companies, have come out and gone, ooh, we don't know. We're going to rethink our relationship. We're going to look over and see how this this is completely unacceptable to us. Um, and so these unrelated companies uh, are, are worried about it. Yeah. Now, the, what do you think the board of directors did, though? Uh, they did Going a lot. Going after Bobby. Maybe. They well, said, they gave him some more pay raises. No, they said, uh, <laughs> "Here's your severance package, and get out of here, you stupid fuck." See, that would—that's what reasonable, uh, moral people would do. Now, Activision Blizzard board gives Kotick a vote of confidence. Um, you mean no confidence? No confidence. No, co- well, no confidence. No, no. But it's like no, no confidence. Mm-hmm. Like it's a no, no confidence vote. So, it's, <laughs> so they are confident. They are confident uh, still in Bobby. Yeah, what so the fuck? The quote is: "They remain confident that Bobby Kotick appropriately addressed workplace issues brought to his attention." Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Uh, and that's what, according to the board of directors today, released a statement affirming its support for CEO Bobby Kotick after the employee group. There's a bunch of employees. That are signing petitions, hoping that you know Bobby doesn't get. Look, I doesn't, yeah. Blizzard employees know that I love you. Activision employees, same thing. Um, they don't give a shit what you think. You you you're you're down there to them. They pay themselves 150. He paid himself 154 million dollars a nothing. year, and they're cutting <laughs> your salaries or they're laying you off. They don't give a fuck what you think. Uh, and this is what this is how you know the board gave them. No, no confidence. We we have confidence, uh, confidence. in you. They, yes, they have confidence in Bobby. Yeah. Okay, Bobby is just laughing it up. Yeah. Just laughing it up, man. His company is under fire, and he gets to point the finger along with everybody else. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Yeah. He's been in charge the whole time. He knew about it, but mm-hmm. we're confident that Bobby can... What is this guy? Does everything he fucking touched turn into fucking gold? 
Like, does There's he no give the, the best investors. fucking uh, uh, harassment blowjobs in the industry? <laughs> like, why is it? Why aren't they not getting rid of yeah, this like guy? Yeah, like, the investors should be fucking pissed. There's they're losing lot, a lot of money. There are a lot of investors that are upset. The issue is it's such a large company that they're, you know, people when they're like, oh, the investors are mad. It's like, yes, a percentage of the investors are mad. The employees are pissed. Well, uh, as of now or this morning, the petition was signed then like by 6% of the employees. Hundreds of people, <laughs> but it's only 6%. I'm like, it has to get bigger and bigger. Now, the one sort of good news, which it is not actually good news, is Bobby himself has responded saying he'll consider leaving Activision if he can't resolve this oh, in a timely manner. Oh, come on. I'll consider it. It's like, well, I considered it. No, I'm going to yeah, fucking no, stay. I considered it. I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah. No, sir. No, I do not like, like it. That is, so, that is the stupidest it fucking is. response ever because also he, he puts himself into a corner and he puts the company into a corner. He's like, let's say... Uh, he wants to leave, right? He's like, well, I tried to fix it, but you know what? That shit is fucked. I'm out of here. Yeah. Activision's like, what the fuck, bro? You threw me under the Severance, bus. Severance, please. Yeah, yeah, give me my money. Like, what? So that only means that he's going to stay there and he's going to fix it. And even if he doesn't fix he, it, he's, he's going to stay there. He's not going to fix it. it and is. then say he fixed it. I, I fixed it. It's, I think it's fixed. It's too big right he now. He said on a memo. It's way too big. Have confidence that it. I fixed it. All he has to do is send out a memo that says, don't it's sexually fixed. harass people. Signed, Bobby Kotick. I fixed the problem. I fixed the problem. I, sent, I, I told him not I to. I told him not to do it. What else do you want from me? Well, here's <laughs> I, I'm surprised. I'm surprised Bobby's like, nah, okay, I'll just I'll retire. I don't care. I think it's because it makes him look like he's responsible. He doesn't want to feel like he's responsible. So he wants to do something before he leaves. But he will leave. But he just doesn't want to be blamed for it. He wants at least a little bit of credit for trying to fix it and then taking his money and go. Because I'm surprised he didn't just be like, I don't give a fuck. I got a ton of money. I, oh, you, I either make money leaving or I make money That's what here. I thought he was gonna I'm do. just going to make money like, leaving. Yeah, whatever, I'm, I'm tired. I'm, he doesn't want yeah. people spitting in his food for the rest of his you know, privileged life. The right. people at the yacht club. Just yeah, like, you were that yeah. guy that yeah. fucking oh, had harassment, yeah, yeah. you idiot. Yeah. yeah. Um, he, he is considering the formation of a workplace excellence committee. Um, so that's good. <laughs> Problem solved, everyone. Yeah, so Mission solved by Bobby, Bobby Kotick. Um, Who's in charge of those? The ones that did the Bill Cosby, well, the ones shit's that... Shit's going to take like years. Yeah. And the executives that paid the uh, female far less and they paid the male uh, on the same job. So, cool. Yeah, that's that's it for this. Look, it's an ongoing story. We'll we will probably find There's out even be more, more yeah, this week, yeah. and we'll probably be talking about this for a little while. Uh, I think I personally think uh, that he's under too much pressure, and and he will resign. That's just a huge slap in the face of everybody that he's not leaving. So I guess that does fit for Activision. <laughs> It's perfect that he doesn't fucking leave. But I think Why eventually he, he will though? leave. Man's do you think he's going to leave or do you think he's going to stay? He's going to stay. He's okay. making so much fucking money. I, 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 I mean, like beyond his initial, I'm going to fix it. I imagine that he's going to speak with the investors and saying, I want this much money and I will leave. And if you don't give me that much money, I will not leave. I, I'm, I'm expecting that's what, a massive... That's what he's really buying time for, not not this fucking committees and fixing shit. He's like... His last good paycheck. Symbolically, he's creating <laughs> yeah. those he, things. He's also a massive stockholder in the company, and that's something that you can't forget. So when people are like, oh, we need to have the shareholders who can vote, vote for a new CEO, as of right now, nope. he's, one of the, <laughs> he's one of the people that can vote, and he has a large percentage <laughs> right. of that. So the groups are saying, look, we want the shareholders who can vote to vote for a new CEO, but Bobby should abstain from voting. Bobby has no reason to do any of that. No. He Probably wants another huge chunk of money. Um, you know, we got to have rusting, uh, Russian nesting yachts. Um, mm -hmm. I want a yacht for my yacht. Yeah, I want um, a yacht inside my yacht. And I then want that, my yacht to have a fucking yeah, garage. Yeah, and then a little skiff comes out, and then a jet ski comes out of that. And then, that, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, then, that's, that then, sounds so cool. Then I will respect <laughs> women, and I will give them equal pay. After I have <laughs> no, the yacht they within don't have the balls. yacht within the yacht. But they don't have balls. That's under Bobby's watch, too. He didn't oh, think yeah. they have the right balls. <laughs> No, you don't have Did they have balls inside he of balls? He likes balls. Once women get balls, do they have balls inside of yeah. balls? Is Donuts, the, not enough. They'll move the goalposts. Yeah. Goddamn. All right. Well, anyone want to talk about something that's not Bobby Kotick? Yes. Um, Kojima Productions launched Fuck new Bobby Kotick. film. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they launched a new film, TV, and music division. Yay. So the new division will, ta uh, will be tasked with working with creative and talented professionals in television, music, and film. So you're as saying well there's a chance for Snatcher. You're saying there's a chance for a Snatcher Netflix series. I would be up for a Snatcher. They're probably going to try to do Death Stranding with Norman Reedus, but I would say I would rather see 
Uh, they're already doing Metal Gear Solid. Uh, I want to see Snatcher. What do you guys want to see? Mm, not Death Stranding. I want what, a sure. James Hader as, as Snake, though, and they're not going that direction, mm. and I think that they're wrong. Metal yeah. Gear Survive. But that's good, like, because, I mean, look at the right? success of Arcane. Arcane has been fucking awesome, 10 out of 10, so let's see if Kojima, and many of his games, people argue, are almost movies anyway, so let's see if he can actually Hitting break into the movie and television area and give us good video game adaptations. Adaptions? Mm-hmm. Adaptation. Yes. Yeah. One of those. One of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, I got one. Uh, Halo Infinite. Oh, wait. No, no. That's not what I want, What I meant to say. I meant to say uh, the a new franchise is being created by the Yakuza people and the Judgment people, but this new franchise, is it's not connected to Yakuza, and it's not connected to Judgment. Those two ones going on. So I cannot wait to see. They already confirmed that uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon has a sequel in the works. And um, and now they've got they've confirmed that they're working on a whole new series. I hope it is as crazy as their other games, and I want them to push the envelope a little bit for this one because some could say that they're a little cookie cutter. You know, the the judgment and the yakuza kind of stay within their own little boxes and and kind of reuse some mechanics. I I want them to up that a little bit and give us something awesome. So what do y'all think it is? So it's you know it's. Probably something within Japanese culture because that's what they've been kind of sticking to. I can almost guarantee you beat up some dude wearing just white tidy whities and a trench coat (laughs) um, and in a diaper. That is amazing. So So it's a game underwear, (laughs) Joe. It's I'm I'm I have I'm I'm just waiting for y'all to finish because I have an exclusive here. Yoko Yama said that he's working exclusively with other Joe on a Diaper Man series. Yeah, it's gonna be basically like me as a sumo wrestler fighting. I'm a superhero. Okay, superhero sumo wrestler. Yes, that's fighting. It's gonna be amazing. Okay. And then uh, it's a good day. And, I don't there's, know. <laughs> and there's a mini game. The game will include multiple multiple types of mini games. Do you want to let us in on one of your mini games? It's not out yet, but you could donate. Uh, hopefully, we're reaching a billion dollars, and then maybe the game will come oh, out. I don't know yet. Oh, he's doing the Star Citizen <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> ten years. It'll take right. about ten years. We're, we're, and we're each billion dollars more is a new OJ it's mini game. It's a new game. skin. Oh, a skin. New, new skin. Only new Promising skins. Promising too much. <laughs> Anyways, I can't wait for a new Yakuza-like uh, you know, IP franchise and see what they do with it. Hopefully, it centers on the uh, diaper guy from oh, that OJ yeah. place. He's sweet. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for me. I want to thank you guys for watching the episode. I want to thank our awesome, awesome partners at Extra Wallets. Mm-hmm. We have an exclusive wallet, limited to time. Black Get Friday yours deals. now while you still can. Thank at the best price too. Fifty five dollars. Uh, much better and uh, better value than the other ones out there. And thank you all so much for watching. This is one of two videos. Mm -hmm. So check out our second news video. We'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye, guys. guys.